What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today's video, soybean harvest is continuing here at Stoltz Farm Incorporated. I, if you didn't know, have another job and actually work full time. So it's like 5 p.m. right now and just got off my remote job that I had in Texas and continue to have here in North Dakota. Got off work, it only leaves us a couple hours until the elevator closes and we are hauling all of our soybeans into the elevator right now as we harvest them. I saw my dad go by in the truck to go out to the combine at the beginning of the day and he has two semis full, the grain cart full and needs one more truck. So we've got a lot of soybeans done today and I am on trucking duty. So I'm about to haul in the Kenworth truck into town and give those soybeans to the elevator. I got to haul out a truck first for my dad uh, to dump into because he's gonna need one more grain truck. That's what's up today. We're just doing a little bit of trucking. This is Friday. I'll likely include another day in this video since it is the end of the day. But that's where we're starting, continuing harvest and crushing soybeans. Thanks for watching another video. Let's get started. There goes the 9760 just finishing up this soybean field not hardly much left at all the grain carts full over there this truck is full the peterbilt's full at home a lot of soybeans holding today i guess show you guys the load before we take off there we go that's all we can haul in for soybeans without being over the limit we shoot for like 80,000 pounds or so and I did a load last night and it ended up being like 82,000 pounds. It was about this. So we can't really fill any more than this, but we haul in what we can and it fills up these trucks pretty fast. Let's go Piper. All right, trucks tarped up. Let's haul in these soybeans to finish out the week here on Friday. Right 
there, I'm gonna circle it with my finger. I don't know, I can't see through the screen very well right now, but we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I count, just in this view, and there was a few more, I think, as well, as well as some in the base. I thought it would be kind of busy because it's Friday, soybean season, everyone's hauling their beans in to the elevator. But here's a view of the elevator. See, we got very, very tall, grain storage and it's apparently the place to be today so I guess I'll explain this whole process since we have a little bit of time to wait I guess first I should be opening my tarp so we have the automatic tarp that you see in some of the little vlog edits I do where I use the button on the trailer I also have this remote so I'm just gonna hold it and there it's starting to go up so we're opening the tarp we tarp as we drive and then we open it as we get in here to town the probe's gonna go in the top of the load. We also leave it open as we dump because with the semis, you dump out of the bottom of the trailers. And if you left the tarp closed, it would suction that tarp down and destroy it, which we don't want. So tarp's open now. That'll stay open until we unload or at least until we're just about done. Got some movement here. So untarping is step one. Then we're gonna come up to this little thing that you might be able to see, but I'll show you it on the truck in front of me. That's the probe, it's gonna be testing for moisture and all that. After we get tested for moisture, we're gonna go up and weigh. I'm gonna use this guy right here, Neyland Farms from Pingree, North Dakota, stamped on his truck. We're gonna use him as the example, and I'll explain what's going on uh, as he does it, and then what's going on with me, but it'll be easier for you to see if I'm showing you what's ahead of me. So you get probed, you get weighed, then you dump, then you get weighed again to see the difference, and then you're off. Usually it's pretty fast, just the only delay is if there's a line of trucks, since there's only one scale. All right, so here goes Mr. Neeland up here ahead of me. You pull up, you got the two hoppers, like you saw when I showed you the inside of the load. Front hopper and the back hopper. So there goes the probe in the front. Comes back up, and he's gonna pull forward and then it's gonna drop down again to the back. Pretty quick process once you get going, you just gotta wait for the other trucks to get weighed and all that. Now it's our turn. All right, so we've been probed in the front and the back, and now we're gonna head up to the scale. Yep, just a little line. Just a few trucks, five ahead of me. But we got our first weight and that's the weight we want to be, around 80,000 pounds. Last night it was 82,000, which is just fine. Um, it's pretty close. We don't really want to be under that or we're just kind of underloading what we can haul in. But around 80,000 is what we want. Then when we come back, we're gonna weigh out the truck, which is like 30,000 and then see the weight of the soybeans. This is kind of how the math works there. The dumping isn't really something that you're gonna see a lot on camera. They just open the hatches underneath of the crank and the grain whooshes down. So one load today of soybeans, that's just fine. That'll free up a truck at least. And then we got the cart, which will probably fill the truck again. And the Peterbilt truck is gonna also be full as well as one of the tandem grain trucks. So a lot of soybeans harvested today, as I said, and that's a good thing. Harvest 2020 is continuing. The weather's getting colder. September is almost over, so in North Dakota we don't have a lot of time till winter. So we want to get these soybeans done onto sunflowers and in our cozy houses for the winter. All right, so here's Mr. or Mrs. Neeland for the example again. You can see him cranking open there on the side, unloading through the bottom of the truck. You'll do the front hopper, pull forward with the back hopper, just like the probing. Tarp up and you're on your way after you get weighed again. everybody that's it for Friday September something combines put away all the dry soybeans are out here before sundown tonight and the truck is back so got one load of soybeans hauled in today um, let's see I have my paper 
We came in at like 79,000 pounds, 79,020 pounds for the truck and the soybeans. A little bit under, but pretty good. So yeah, that's it for today. Um, I'll see you guys, I guess, on Sunday uh, when we'll most likely resume some of these harvesting activities. Night, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Nini. Morning, Piper. Morning. Good morning, Burton. And good morning, YouTube. It is Monday, September 29. So the last day that I filmed, I was hauling the soybeans in. That was Friday. I told you I'd wait a couple days and then film some more combining. But guess what? Got some rain on Sunday. So it didn't work on Saturday. And then Sunday, the rain came pouring down in the beginning of the day. Not very much rain, but enough to sideline us and force us to watch the Vikings lose another game. Today we'll probably be back at it a little bit, doing a few things maybe around the yard, maybe dabbling with the soybeans a bit, but it is really cold. Cold front came in, rained a little bit, and uh, we're kind of stalled out here on the soybeans, but we got a lot done for the soybean harvest. I wanted to finish the video, get some conclusion, so I wanted to update you on what's going on. And the only big difference from what I told you guys on Friday is that we ended up dumping a lot of the soybeans into the bin uh, to store. So. We do have like some contract to haul into the elevator. Wanted to kind of keep some dry ones because these are so dry that we're harvesting. No guarantee the ones coming up are gonna be that dry. So to prevent having to run our fans all the time, we ended up dumping some into the grain bin and not hauling in all those extra loads yesterday. So since some are gonna be hauled in anyways and some are gonna be stored anyways, we decided to store some dry ones. And maybe that turned out to be a good thing since it ended up raining on us. I'm sure we'll be back out combining in no time this week and finish things up. And before I end the video, give a quick update on the sunflowers because I've been doing that this whole summer and spring. Here's what we got, nice and dry. And not too much else to say about them. You saw them not that long ago in another video and they were coming along quite nicely, but you can see leaves starting to kind of fall off. We had these sprayed via crop dusting to kind of throw them along and they're all getting ready. Easy to see now when the leaves are really big, it's hard to see the rows you can see now the kind of straight rows that we'll be able to combine right down. And sunflowers are actually coming up fairly quick as well. It's the end of September. It's cold. Fall is here, but winter is coming right around the corner. Uh, last year, the sunflowers were harvested in the snow, and hopefully we don't have that this year. Either way, we'll be all right here at Stoltz Farms. Thank you for following along the journey, Stoltz Farm 2020. Appreciate you guys supporting the videos watching them, liking them, sharing them, subscribing to the channel, liking the page on Facebook, whatever you do to help the channel grow and reach more people is awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video. Maybe some more harvest, maybe some yard stuff. Who knows what the future has in store. At the farm, we kind of just fly by the seat of our pants and we like it that way. Have a good one, everybody.